Beautiful Rooms, a much-hyped compendium of short films written and directed by Robert Rodriguez, Quentin Tarantino, Alison Anders and Alexandra Rockwell. The setting is a faded Hollywood hotel and the stories, everyone a dud, are linked together by the bellboy played by Tim Roth. In the course of New Year's Eve, he falls in with a coven of witches, among them Madonna, Ioni Skye, and in a mercifully small role, Amanda Decadene. A jealous husband, David Provel, and his wife, Jennifer Beals. Two children who destroy their hotel room while their parents, Antonio Banderas and Tamlin Tomita, are out partying. And in the Tarantino segment, a bunch of Hollywood drunks. Tarantino himself, Jennifer Beals again, Paul Calderon, and an uncredited Bruce Willis. Here, Calderon has bet his little finger, literally, that he can flick on his cigarette lighter ten times in a row. So, did you ever see any more of Hitchcock episode? Yes. Did you ever see the one called The Man from Rio with Peter Laurie and Steve McQueen? Uh, uh, if you saw it, you'd remember. It's called The Man from Rio with Peter Laurie and Steve McQueen. Anyway, Peter Laurie makes a bet with Steve McQueen that Steve McQueen can't light his cigarette lighter ten times in a row. <laughs> now, if Steve McQueen lights his cigarette lighter ten times in a row, he wins Peter Laurie's new car. If he does not light his cigarette lighter ten times in a row, Peter Laurie gets a chop off Steve McQueen's little pinky. Norman Chester just made the same bet. Norman has bet his pinky that he can light his cigarette lighter ten times in a row. If he does, he wins Chester's 1964 Chevy Chevelle red beautiful car. If he doesn't, the whole movie is monumentally disappointing, a self-indulgent hodgepodge of slender anecdotes that hardly seemed worth writing down in the first place and certainly not worth filming. Still, I don't want to wind up Film 95 by sitting here like Screw 